Hey everybody, Bert Heck here. I'm the director of Intake Performance Kits. And I want to introduce you to our lab manager. And I want to go over some of the things that we look at when we develop an air filter for your vehicle. So this is Mike Johnson, the manager of our state-of-the-art filtration lab, where we do all of our testing for our air filters. Can you explain to me what we do here and what the benefit of your testing for our consumer? So here at k we do uh, ISO 5011 testing on all of our filters. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this scenario, we're testing a clamp-on filter inside of a dust cabinet. It starts here with the dust being in a hopper on a scale. This is ISO uh, A4 coarse dust, which is certified for the particle size and distribution. It gets put into this hopper, which is on a scale. So we'll inject that dust inside this uh, dust cabinet, which is where we house the filter. So we utilize this box to simulate real-world underhood conditions for clamp-on filters. So say it's clamped onto an intake tube, all the dust that's swirling around in the engine bay. This is to simulate that environment. Obviously, we're pulling air through the filter at a certain CFM, or is it just a random CFM? Uh, depending on the motor size, we'll determine the test airflow. After the test is run, we will break it all down and weigh everything, the test filter, the housing, the tubes, to calculate the efficiency of the filter, how much dust got past the filter. So basically, what you're showing me is this is the engine. Right? Correct. So what is this apparatus? So any dust that gets by the test filter will get trapped on this absolute media. So this will go into a ventilated oven. So any moisture that's introduced will get baked off. And so the only change in weight is the dust amount. So you're testing a cone filter. What happens if it's a flat panel that you would just put like a stock replacement filter? So with? for panel filters, we'll test them in the OE air box. And then, so obviously everything's scientifically done. Correct, to the ISO right. 5011 standard. Okay, so once you get all that data, where does it go from there? So the results get sent back to R&D. They'll go through and look and they'll deem if it passes or if it fails. But if it fails, do we redo this test again? Correct, yeah, if, if it fails, they'll do revisions in R&D, right. depending on what the issue is, and then we will retest the filter entirely. We'll test it as many times as needed until it, it meets our criteria. Looking around this room, I see a lot going on. But one thing that caught my eye is, what is going on over here? Yeah, so these are all the filters that have run through the, the testing here in the lab. The one that really caught my eye was this filter right here. This looks like the one that's in the cabinet that you were just testing. Yeah, so here's another conical filter that had been previously tested. Uh, this one has dust fed to reach a certain terminating pressure, which in this instance, uh, for automotive filters, we do 15 inches of water restriction. So looking at this, this thing still looks brand new inside as if there's not an ounce of dirt on the outside. Yep, it's doing its job. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for showing us around. Learned a lot. So. If you want to learn more about our testing procedures, go to kanefilters.com and there's a lot more videos that you can learn and see what we're doing here. Thanks for watching.